everyone, it's Mama G here. And before we go any further, make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and that you're following me on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. You just need to search for at Mama G Stories. For today's stop on Mama G's advent calendar, I am going to share with you the absolutely beautiful book, Scissorella. It's written by Claire Helen Welch and Laura Barrett. And I really hope you love it because I think it's pretty sensational. Enjoy. It's story time with Mama G. Come and hear a story with me. Love who you want to be, who you are. Learn these lessons and we'll go far. It's story time. Story time. Story time with Mama G. Lottie didn't believe in fairy tales. If you worked in a mill all day, making and drying paper, you would understand. Her horrible sisters, Matilda and Tabitha, didn't do a thing for themselves. Press the sheets, fetch us food, and stop the snivelling. They didn't show her any love either. Her only friend in the world were the paper puppets she snipped by the light of the moon. And although Lottie wished and wished many times for a fairy who could grant wishes, for pumpkins that turned into carriages, for someone to love her, nothing ever changed. She was certain that happy endings were just things people read about in books. Then one day, an invitation arrived, and here it is. It says, Prince Carl cordially invites you to the Palace Spring Ball. Of course, Lottie wasn't allowed to go. Stitch us dresses that sparkle, Matilda yelled. Sew us frocks that dazzle. Tabitha ordered. Luckily for them, Lottie was a whiz with scissors. Longer, tighter, frillier, fuller. But even in the most beautiful dresses, the sisters were as horrible as ever. Don't wait up, Matilda boasted. Don't miss us too much, Tabitha teased. Lottie much preferred the company of her puppets anyway. But the sisters preferred her to have no company at all. So they did a very nasty thing. And the nasty thing is they tear up all her puppets. Oops! Sorry! Cackled Tabitha. My mistake! Mocked Matilda. It was then that Lottie realised if she wanted a happy ending, she was going to have to make it happen herself. I shall go to the ball, she said. But she couldn't go in her rags. And there wasn't a scrap of material left in the house. I'll use paper, she said. And Lottie snipped and clipped and folded and trimmed the most beautiful paper dress. Of course, it wasn't strong enough to last all night. Just long enough to change her life, hopefully. But when Lottie arrived at the palace, Prince Carl was not what she expected. He was bored of the same fussy food, of the same dull dances, of the same people singing the same songs. So Lottie snipped and clipped and folded and trimmed. Let me show you something, she smiled. Now this, wait till you see what she did. Everyone was mesmerised, especially the prince. Look at her dress. 
Look at her puppets. It's the most enchanting thing I've ever seen, Prince Carl said. Lottie didn't believe in fairy tales, although this was starting to feel like one. But she had forgotten that her dress was made of paper. Silver drops of rain fell from the sky. One, two, three. Oh no, cried Lottie. I have to leave. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come back, called the prince. But the dress had already started to tear. Lottie dropped her scissors on the steps. Ten, eleven, twelve. Back home, her dress was nothing more than a soggy pile of paper on the floor. Just then, her sisters came home. <gasps> You're the paper princess! They laughed. The prince won't like you when he realises who you really are. But Lottie had had enough of being pushed around. So the next morning, when Prince Carl came looking for the paper princess, she rushed to the door to meet him. At least, she tried to. But her sisters got there before her. Tabitha used the scissors first. Ta-da! She said, but the paper fell to the floor in a pile of confetti. Matilda was next, but she cut and hacked the paper to bits too. Oh, give me one more try, she begged. The prince wasn't fooled. Who made these? He asked. Ah, you wouldn't want to meet her, the sisters scoffed. Just then, Lottie arrived in her old mill rags. She snipped and clipped. Everyone gasped. Your puppets are magical, the prince said. They are just what the kingdom needs. Lottie didn't believe in happy endings. But perhaps she could believe in new beginnings. I'm going to create a wonderful show, she told the prince. Maybe you'd like to help. So Lottie told her own fairy story with a pair of scissors. Once upon a time, there was a girl called Cisarella. And look, it became a show. Lottie and Carl's shows were seen far and wide and loved by everyone. Now Lottie did believe in fairy tales because she knew that she could create her very own happy ever after. The end. Oh, isn't that stunning? And I'll be back next time with another stunning story. Bye! It's story time with Mama G. Come and hear a story with me. Love who you want to be, who you are. Learn these lessons and we'll go far. It's story time. Story time. Story time with Mama G.